What is a knot? I always get asked this question all the time. Can you, can you, can you feel this for me right here? Oh, what is that? What does that feel like? Is that a, is that a knot? You know, I, my mom, I always laugh. My mom uh, <laughs> tells me to come here. Can you feel this? You know, that's her way of trying to get a massage, I think. But <laughs> she, she comes over. Is, what does this feel like to you? Is this a knot? And I'm laughing, you know, because I tell her the same thing every time, but I'm also laughing because she's not the only one that asks that. My clients ask that, and even other massage therapists ask me that. Other massage therapists are asking me, is this a knot? Seriously? <laughs> okay, so what what is a knot? You know, what... What is that, you know, what is your feeling? You know, you're obviously feeling something that's stuck, that's not, you know, supposed to be there. So, okay, so first of all, if you have any lumps in your body, which you should be massaging and feeling your whole entire body uh, every day, is if you have any little nods or nodules, most likely they're not supposed to be there, okay? So whatever you want to call it, you need to massage it out anyways. But let's talk about like the actual connective and the muscle and the fascia tissue because that's what you're probably wondering about, what, what the knot is. Okay. So you have the muscle, which is dense irregular tissue. It looks kind of like this underneath the microscope, just all over the place, you know, where, whatever pattern. It's completely random. And on top of that, surrounded that muscle is fascia. So you, you hear a lot of talk about fascia, that's what this fascia does, it surrounds the muscle. And that fascia can go and make a J shape. And if it's really bad, that J shape can turn into one of those Fibonacci sequences, a little spiral, right? Like a snail. So now you think of this right here, the muscle, and now it's being torqued up into a J. And so that's bad enough as it is. but we live in a toxic world with toxic people, toxic environment. So not only is this muscle turning into a J shape and then eventually maybe spiraling in on itself, collapsing in, this muscle is now stagnant because it's filled with toxins. You know, we've been drinking tap water for too long. We've been eating uh, all kinds of GMOs and chemicals and crap for way too long. We've been uh, living and breathing just air here in Southern California, breathing the air, the toxic air, the brake dust, the car fumes for too long. All right, all of that gets accumulated into the muscle. You know, our bodies are just giant filters. So it gets stuck here in the muscle. Now that, that stagnation makes that muscle hard. So that muscle is hard and it's being bent. And now that creates what you call the knot. Okay, so yeah, it needs to be massaged out but it needs to be massaged. You need to massage yourself way more than you think, okay? Going to see me once a month is not gonna make that not go away. It'll make it feel good. Going to your local massage therapist, okay? Say twice a week. You know, maybe you'll start to see some progress, but if you really wanna to get to the path of regeneration and get your knots to go away to actually feel like you have control of your body again, you need to massage yourself every day, just every day. Let's, let's say every day, but only 10 minutes a day, okay? Let's say 10 minutes and you just pick a knot. Just pick one of your knots that you have and work on that 10 minutes a day, every single day, and you will see results.